I'm Helen from Trail and Kale and this is the Revelry Drifter Backpack. So first things first, let's take a look at the outside. You see immediately that this is the sort of bag that if you're on Instagram, whether you're into travel, hiking, things like that, then you've probably seen bags like this and thought, well, they look pretty cool, um, pretty vintage. And this one is, is exactly that. It's really well made and designed to look like it has been around for 50 years and still looks great. So this is the back view of the backpack and this is the view from the front. So two shoulder straps, really thick. This is all made of thick canvas on the outside with leather details and metal hardware. So on these adjustable shoulder straps and with the chest clip here, as well as the buckles and zips that you have on the attachments here. One of the first things you'll notice about this backpack is that the zips are taped. So they've got sort of rubber seals along here, which are designed to help with waterproofing. So it's that zip here for the front pocket and also the zip, which I'll show you properly in a minute for the main compartment. The two standout key technical features of this backpack are that it's water resistant and also odor absorbing. I've already shown you the zips, which help with the water resistance. The odour absorbing feature is interesting and not something I've seen in a backpack before. Perhaps if your cat decided to spray on it or something, it might be helpful as well, but that's not really why it was designed. It's designed to keep odours in rather than out, so anything smelly that you might want to put in your backpack, no one else should be able to smell it because it would be sealed in this bag. And the way that they keep the smells in is partly through these tape seams and having a really secure attachment to seal it. And also because of how the layers that are used in manufacture of this bag are constructed. For more details on the technicalities behind this, check out Revelry's website and I'll put a link above where you can go and check it out for yourself. So let's take a look inside this Revelry backpack. Got these two metal clips here again really solid it just feels like this backpack was built to last a lifetime um, and actually on that note you'll see that this is really really stiff fabric partly because of the construction I talked about earlier and partly because it's built to last a long time so it starts off pretty stiff and then with use it softens up So you see once I've actually unfolded the roll top, it's quite tall, but you're going to make sure that you don't fill it up beyond its capacity here so that you can still roll it up or even just fold it down, which is how I often use it. Um, it's just a bit quicker. So inside you'll notice there's a really nice vintage label on one side and then a secret zip up pocket on the other, which is good for valuables or small essentials that you need to access pretty quickly. Before we dive deeper, for other small essentials, I would use this front pocket here, as well as you have these two side pockets, one of which is, you know, most people would use for a water bottle, and the other you could put whatever you need to access quickly in there. Maybe it's your phone, maybe it's an umbrella, if you're somewhere that's going to be raining and you're going to use an umbrella, you know, if you're using this bag for every day or travel or for commuting. So inside, I'll try and show you the capacity in here and for more information on the capacity and to get a better feel for it, check out the review that I've written on our blog. I'll put a link up above here. That review includes some extra photos so you can see more detail behind the features as well as inside the bag. So inside the bag, you have about 23 liters of capacity, which is a good amount for a day hiking pack, which is what I tend to use this for, but also really great amount for everyday commuting. You've got enough room in there to take all your essentials, including a laptop and um, gym kit, things like that. It's hard to show you on video, but right down at the bottom inside this backpack are several inside pockets. One of them is a designated laptop sleeve. So if you are using this to, for your everyday, to go to a cafe or commute or any other time that you might take your laptop with you, perhaps traveling as well, then there's a special place for your laptop in there. There's a few other small pockets inside, right down the bottom, which is really hard to show on a video, um, but they're really useful for putting smaller things that you don't want getting lost in the whole cavern of the bag. So to do the bag up, first you close the zip, and then, as I mentioned earlier, just to show you, you've got the option of simply using the clips like this, or 
rolling the top of the bag first and then sealing it for a more retro backpack style. I've also got a, a leather man clipped on here that's, that doesn't come with the bag, but that's where I like to keep it because it's really easy to access from the outside. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very short video review of this Revelry Drifter backpack. I'll pop a link in the description below for where you can go to buy it, as well as for our full review featuring a load of photos and more details on this bag. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps our channel grow, so we really appreciate every like we get. And also for more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you are made aware of any new videos that we put out. Thanks for watching. Bye.